Okay, aloha everyone. Tsuyoshi Island Rider back again. This time I'm gonna vlog from the H1 EVA off ramp and into EVA specifically to Kolowaka Street. And joining me today is my friend Zoe the Biker Dog. And she's bringing along that guy over there on the V rod. Nah, 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 that's my brother, Kenny. And that pretty wahine or woman or lady behind me, that's my wife, Miki. Okay, so today. I'm not going to tell you much about the route, but instead, would like to tell you a childhood story that Eva and Honouli Uli reminds me of. Okay, so over 40 years ago, I went intermediate school down here on Renton Road, and one day our PE teacher told the class that he was going to take us down to Kahimohala, which is right on the other side of that dark green tree line over there. Now, Kahimohala is a medical center, and they have a parking lot where the school bus could turn around. So our teacher told us he would drop us off and we had to run back to school and that our grade was going to be based on our run time. <clears throat> but what the teacher did not tell us until me and my friend Byron was sitting at the back of the bus was that our time would start as soon as he opened that front door. So me and Byron was like, oh brah, this is not going to be good. All the L7s, you remember that term? The L7s was sitting in the front and they would be getting off the bus before us, get one head start on us, and they would get better grades than us. So when the bus would turn around and stop, everybody would rush the door. But not Byron, he was so kolohe, he or rascal, he went to the back, opened the emergency door, and he jumped out. I went turn around and saw that, so I was like, ooh. I can jump out too. But the teacher went yell, Hey, everybody, sit down. I'm just turning the bus around. And he started heading back towards the school. <clears throat> so at that point, I realized that Byron, he would make one mistake. So just as the bus started to accelerate, I yelled to Byron, Hey, get back on the bus. And let me tell you, he went run full blast and went catch up to us. He was even able to grab the inside edges of the door, but when he tried to pull himself up, he went look like Fred Flintstone with the legs running above the ground. Then, oh my gosh, he couldn't hang on and he went eat it. He fell head over heels like he was on stuntman, tumbling on the ground behind the bus. I went freak out. I thought he was going to mocke or die, but that bugger went jump to his feet and when put his finger to his lip, shushing us and signaling to us not to say anything. So we never. And when the bus stopped, everyone ran towards the school, but my friends and I, we ran back to check on Byron. And oh my goodness, poor Byron. He had all kind cockios or abrasions on his body. He had them on his knees, on his elbows, on his hands and knuckles, and even had one on his head. Oh, look, Blue Mary over there. Okay, but that bugger, he was so tough, he just brushed himself off, and we all ran back to the school with him. And guess what? He went beat us. Me, eh? I don't know whatever happened to Byron, but every time I come here, I think of that guy. Man, he was one tough Filipino. Okay, uh, so with that, we're right here at Kolowaka Street, and at the end of my second vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please click the like button and subscribe. And if you did not enjoy the video, no worries, just click the dislike button two times. Okay? Mahalo everyone.